amigos, yo soy Javier Mota y hoy estamos en una edición más de Auto 060, pero hoy estamos en una transmisión especial porque no estamos en el estudio donde hacemos la transmisión regularmente, sino que estamos eh, dando la vuelta por Estados Unidos en este momento. Eh, me encuentro en Cincinnati, en Ohio, donde hemos venido a probar el nuevo Buick Regal 2014, eh, un nuevo modelo de la división de lujo de la General Motors. Y en esta edición vamos a tener entrevistas sobre la Kia Soul de 2014. Estuvimos en Minnesota para probar ese vehículo. También vamos a tener entrevistas sobre el nuevo Toyota Corolla, que ya salió hace unas semanas a la venta, pero bueno, una, un poco de información con Jim Colom, uno de los ejecutivos de comunicaciones de la Toyota, y un par de visitas al Homestead Miami Speedway, donde estuvimos con la Ferrari haciendo un track day, eh, gracias a la invitación del concesionario The Collection de ahí de Miami, y también con la Nismo Performance Academy, eh, la división de alto desempeño de la Nissan, que está impulsando sus modelos como el Nissan Juke, el GTR, y el 370Z. Así que vamos a empezar con las entrevistas y como les decía, en Minnesota estuvimos probando la nueva Kia Soul y este es Oth Hendrick, el general, el vicepresidente y gerente de, product, de Production Planning de la Kia. How are you, Oth? Very good. Excellent. Good so, to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for, for bringing us to Minnesota. Very cool place for a, for a caravan, not That's very usual. That's surprising. <laughs> yeah. So we're in the new Soul, uh, a car that debuted in 2009, and uh, this car, I mean, it's, it's not that usual that companies take that short, so short time to redevelop the car. I mean, it's only four years, five years now. Right. But still, you already did a mid a midlife cycle uh, refresh, and now a completely new car. That's exactly right. I think for us, uh, it's important to keep the vehicles fresh to keep uh, because it's the product that people are buying it's they're yeah. not buying a brand they're not buying they're buying so uh, whoever has the freshest product wins and we want to make sure that we invest very aggressively to maintain uh, our edge in our young lineup relative to our competitive set because we're a challenger brand we're trying to grow the company we're trying to grow our oh, you've done that. <laughs> you've so done we're, and, and one of the reasons is is because we invest very heavily and we keep our products fresh. Yeah, and uh, you, as I was saying, you you've done that. I mean, the company is growing like really, really fast with basically good product, which just it's the key, right? I That's mean, there's exactly no other, it. there's no other formula. There's no other formula. You're exactly right. And I think for a lot of people, they. Uh, when you have something that's new and fresh and uh, a new look, they, they take a look at you. They say, hey, what's that? I want to check it out. I want to see how it stacks up with what I'm driving or what I'm thinking about instead of constantly going back and buying the same car yeah. over and over. And uh, it's not only the cool marketing that you also have, but also it has to be backed up by the product. Absolutely. And I think for us, uh, really, is it's not just changing the product, but improving it each time. For instance, take the new Soul that we're driving now. Uh, as you mentioned, it's it's all new. Uh, we changed the engines and powertrains in the in the previous car, the one that is just before this one, uh, only two years ago. So the engines and powertrains are relatively new. So we just updated it when we installed it into this uh, the new Soul. Yeah. We added uh, new technology. We improved the drivability, and uh, as the result, uh, we have this car today. Okay. So let's start driving. Okay. This car has like a lot of. of uh, Really cool things like the panoramic sunroof, Absolutely. for example. Absolutely, it's uh, one of the only ones in the category. Yeah, uh, let's actually just leave the screen open. Oh, we'll play with everything now for now. But um, one thing, um, you redesigned the car and you said you, you try to keep it fresh all the time, but you could not mess with this car because like your competition, like basically see on ruin the XP, right? Well, one thing we were interested in understanding though is really what makes this car special. And uh, we studied everybody else in the um, automotive industry that had also a car that was kind of iconic. And uh, I mentioned um, uh, the Xterra for Nissan. Uh, we look at the VW Beetle. I mean, it's very iconic. You know, yeah. If you're changing that, you have to be very careful. And I think that uh, we also looked at uh, other examples and we tried to follow those who were successful. Uh, and we also had the opportunity to look at others who maybe aren't so successful and learn from that also. So we were uh, we were students of the industry. Yeah, but the XB, for example, was very successful at the beginning. I mean, with that very boxy 
they sound very Japanese. That's right. Uh, um, design and then like they run it because they made it like a bland car, like doesn't doesn't like show up like anything else different. So well, I think that, pro I think probably they were concentrating on what their customers told them that they want to fix. You know, bigger engine, more size, yeah. quieter. Uh, and I think probably a lot of times what we found out is you have to have innovation in addition to just fixing. So yeah. we uh, you have to be, you have to tread very carefully with something that is iconic as uh, a boxy car. Yeah, but you've done that. I mean, you you increase the power, the style, the technology, the luxury, the, the quietness. I mean, we're driving and the car is super quiet. A lot Absolutely. of Absolutely. Uh, we we were very careful to fix only those things that needed to be fixed without violating what made the car special, which was function, affordability, and that funky design that everybody, yeah. everybody loves. So you put those three things together, that really is the magic formula for this car. Everything else you can fix and change, just don't touch those three things. The core of the DNA of the car. That's so exactly can right. Can you uh, explain a little bit, because I think there's a very interesting fact about this car from the origin of the design. I mean, it's, it's kind of a funny it's story. It's a great right? story. Our, the lead designer on the first Soul, uh, his name's Mike Torpy, he's a great guy. Uh, he was uh, flying over to Korea, and as anybody who knows who flies internationally, there's a huge jet lag. Um, so he was uh, working on this next, uh, the new car that they were coming out with, the Soul. Had started it, they just had an idea in their head. He's sitting uh, probably in the middle of the night watching a late night TV because he's got jet lag. Yeah. And um, up pops a National Geographic uh, or the Korean equivalent of uh, a show on nature. And it features wild boars on some remote location. He's watching this thing and he starts sketching and he says, what if? And he thought, well, what if one of these boards is wearing a backpack? <laughs> and really put, bad jet lag. And he put a <laughs> really bad jet lag. So he put a backpack on it, and that was the inspiration for the first uh, the first soul. Uh, we've included a lot of those ideas on this current one because it's now become part of the DNA of the car. Yeah. And as I would say, very successful is the number two most sold car in, within Kia, which is kind of it's, incredible, it's, right? A, it's, it's an amazing feat, and uh, we've been uh, wild, beyond our wildest expectations. The car has done great for us. Uh, we're very happy with it, and uh, this new car, we're even more proud of this one because it's now a car that is very refined, it's very sophisticated, but it still has that personality that made the first car great. Okay. So, um, what's new in this car? Uh, well, the engine, we, you said so it's the power a trains, carryover? Uh, yeah. For the most part, we've uh, updated the, uh, the two-liter engine to include direct injection, but the rest of the car is completely different. It's all new, a new platform, uh, a new body, new interior, significant upgrades in materials on the interior. When you see it, touch it, everything you touch is soft. Uh, the seats are new. We've got a new navigation system uh, now based on Android. Uh, so it's got the latest technology. Yeah. So there's a lot of content here. Uh, and also it still has, it's a very practical shape. It's got a lot of, it sits up high. As you can see, we're very comfortable sitting at uh, chair height here, almost like a CUV. Uh, lots of green space around you. Uh, but it still easily recognized as a soul. It has a very, very distinct look on the outside that we kept for the new car. Yeah, the interior is fabulous. I mean, like a lot of uh, details that you almost expect in a luxury car. I love this, uh, the, the detail on the speakers here the, that the are raised vent, a little the, bit. Yeah, the tower, that we call them the tower speakers in the corner. It's uh, a triple play. It's got a very air vent for the air conditioning, uh, side defrosters, and then also a speaker on top of that. And on top of that, it looks cool. There's these neat little towers in the corner of the IP on either sides. And uh, as you also notice in the interior, there's a circular theme. Uh, we've got this circular idea, and the idea is that uh, music has been such an important part of Soul's personality, mainly the marketing campaign. We've always partnered up with a great uh, new sound, either, you know, depending on which band we're working with. Uh, and during the development of this vehicle, that music's playing in the background at the studio. So the designers thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if we captured what that sound is inside the car so they came up with this idea of the sonic rings is very similar to okay when you watch uh, something drop into a still lake you know yes. more surf. so like that the expansion yeah rings. And, the, and the idea here is you have the circle of the door panels circle in the center console uh everything has a circular theme that goes throughout the entire interior of the vehicle so okay. very cool let's uh finally let's talk about price i mean because all these still in a very affordable price right, right exactly and this is probably one of the main points of Soul was it is affordable practicality. 
and we didn't want to mess that up. So the new car is only $300 higher than the outgoing car. And that includes $530 worth of additional content that we didn't have in the previous car. So a great value story, a great price point. We're thousands of dollars less than most of the new competition, uh, the Mini uh, Countryman and also the Fiat 500L. Both of those are kind of new players in this space. We have a huge advantage over them in price yeah. and content. So we're very excited about the new Soul. So we're talking about around 14,000 for the base model? 14,700, that's without the NH, and that, uh, that includes the 1.6 liter engine, the base model. Uh, we have two other grades above that. We have a, a plus grade, which is about half of our sales. And then the uh, the top model is uh, the Exclaim, which is that's where we're driving that's now. That's where we're driving right now. That one starts just under uh, just under twenty thousand, nicely equipped, and uh, it's it's got all kinds of features. So, so for twenty thousand, you get this fabulous cool car with all this technology and all this uh, great a, performance. It's a great story. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. Job. Thank you very much. Pues esa fue toda la información referente al nuevo Kia Soul 2012. Y como escucharon ahí en la voz de Ord Hendrick, el eh, Product Manager de este vehículo, eh, ha sido completamente renovado en, en todos los aspectos. El único es el motor que viene de la renovación que se le hizo apenas en el 2011. Y este es un vehículo tan importante que a pesar de que debutó en el 2009, ya en el 2011 le cambiaron el motor eh, para ponerlo más a, más a punto en la, con la competencia. Y ahora, apenas dos años después, o tres años un poco más, eh, ahora en el 2000, eh, para el 2014 van a tener eh, esta nueva versión eh, totalmente rediseñada, cuidando mucho el estilo, cuidando mucho que no se transforme tanto esa, eh, esa imagen que, que tiene desde el principio y que ha sido una de las bases del éxito que les ha permitido pasar de 50 mil unidades de ventas en el primer año, lo que esperaban más o menos hasta 115 mil el año pasado. Y cuando regresemos en el siguiente segmento vamos a tener a la, al jefe de marketing de Kia, que es quien ha hecho toda esta revolución eh, con Kia, haciendo toda las, a, las, a, eh, la publicidad con esos hámster tan famosos. Así que cuando vengamos vamos a estar con Michael Sprague, el vicepresidente de marketing y comunicaciones de Kia, para que nos explique cómo es que van a seguir con esta campaña de los hámster y algunas otras iniciativas que tiene Kia para el relanzamiento del Kia Soul 2014. Así que no se vayan, esto es Auto 060 y yo soy Javier Mota, una edición especial desde la carretera de aquí a Estados Unidos.